It's gonna be fire on there. It's flat. Do I have to watch this? I mean, you kind of do. My fam is loyal. Rock a piada. Subscribe and follow. Yeah. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. It's your boy, SB here, aka Scooter Brad, back with another brand new episode of Scoot Review, bitch. I'm telling you guys, a lot of things have happened over the course of this week. There is so much news to report today. And with that being said, please remember to smash that like button for me really quick. Subscribe for a brand new video every single day. Turn on those notifications. The notification shout out goes to this person right here today. All you gotta do is click the bell next to the subscribe button. Leave a comment down in the comment section with the hashtag Buddha Crew or Notification Squad and you might end up with AIDS. Over the bumpy course of this week, my Instagram got deleted and then I made a couple of new scooters, you know. Oh my God. Did a bit of writing here and there. Bush. So if you wanna check out any of my older videos, you can just go to my channel. Check them out, see what I did this week, and we're gonna do it all again next week. Hopefully not the Instagram part, let's not do that ever again. If your sexy ass is trying to cop some merchandise to make yourself even sexier, probably not, I'll probably do the opposite. You can go to the link down in the description, scooterbrad.com, to buy any merchandise that you do so place. If you're trying to buy scooter parts, make sure you head to the voltproscooters.com and use the code B-O-O-T-E-R, that's Buddha, for 10% off any order. That being said, let's get right into the scootering news. Last week's clip of the day was taken out by Charlie Dyson with the 360 backflip. Roll it. So much talent for a little ass kid. Wish I had some of that. Today's clip of the day will be decided by you and reviewed in next Sunday's episode of Scoot Review Bars. The first clip of the day today comes from Juzzy Carter with this backflip hard 180 on a curved concrete curb. That there's a mouthful. Now here's a burning question for you, Juzzy. How do you do all that on a 4.5 inch deck? Oh my God. Safe to say that that kid doesn't watch Scoot Review. What a pity. The second clip of the day today comes from Justin Phillips. Man, you gotta see this shit. Roll it. He comes up, rail ride Manny, front 50, whip front lip. Uh, oh, Marty. Holy shit. Wow. Impressive. The third and final clip comes from Matteo Larson, the creator of the catchphrase. It's Scoot Review, bitch. <laughs> Simply put, it's a Wally full twist finger whip. God damn. It is Scoot Review, bitch. Please be sure to vote for your favorite clip of the day and I'll be revealing who took out the top spot in next Sunday's episode of Scoot Review. The Sovereign of Street competition was hosted today at Westchester Skate Park in Los Angeles, California. This collaborative event between Tilt Scooters and The Vault went off without a hitch today at Westchester where there was plenty of riders who turned out to try and take that top spot and qualify for the SOS finals later this year. Evidently the top spot and the qualification went to Ivan Gibson who rides for the Vault Pro Scooter so congratulations to you my man. In second place as the runner up was Ryan Gold and in third place was Alex Lopez another Vault Pro Scooters rider. So congratulations to these top three competitors and everybody else that turned out for this event. You guys made it an absolute gem of a day. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Bars. If you have any of the run footage from the SOS comp make sure you post it out on Instagram and tag at Scoot Review for your chance to be featured on the next episode of the show. Plus, a couple more names have been added to the invite-only riders list for the finals of Sovereign of Street, and the list is now consisting of all of these names. Zach Martin, Logan Fuller, Boris Germain, Charles Bedell, Jazzy Carter, Nick Tedrick, Ryan Upchurch, Badger Clit, Andrew Zamora, Tom K, Cooper Clark, Ruben Rodriguez, Elliot Arnold, Justin Phillips, Hunter Betchtel, Sean Desi, Jake Sorensen, Flavio Pizzeni, Parrish Isaacs, Isaac Miller, and Tommy Christiana. <gasps> The finals will be hosted in Arizona later on this year, and I will keep you guys updated as new information arises. There are two stack of the days today. The first comes from Cabbage Patch Callum. That's a fire Instagram name. Now, this kid actually snapped his tibia bone in his right leg trying to triple whip drop at the Shed Indoor Skate Park. Roll it. To be quite frank, it's a little bit of an underwhelming clip because he doesn't yell or scream or freak out at all. So props to you, my man. You must have a pretty high pain hit. <laughs> you must have a pretty high pain threshold. I know if I snap my leg, I'd be crying like a little b So this kid's all plastered up at this point and apparently he'll be riding in the next couple of months. So if you guys want to head to his Instagram and give him a get well soon wish or something like that, his Instagram will be on screen right now. So go and congratulate him on being such a champion in this situation. Big props to you, Callum. Hope you get better soon, my man. The second and more hilarious stack of the day comes from Jake Angelus. Now this is a name we haven't heard in a while. 
Why? I mean, his clout died out. Long story short, Jake Angelus was riding at Venice Beach with some of his homies, and, uh, well, he ate a bit of Crete. Roll it. So he was going for a triple finger, he busted his lip, kind of busted his eyebrow a little bit, and just, you know, just totally ate it. I gotta be honest though, it's good to see that his level of writing hasn't really subsided much. Like his view count. That's not doing so well. Somebody who is insanely good at scooter riding right now is Colby Rugrock. Now, I don't know if you've heard this name before, but I have done a few reports on him. When he was Welcome to Farzan Pro Scooters, I did reveal his Welcome to Edit and did a little bit of a review on it. Now he's dropped his web edit, his brand new web edit. And look, like this thanger blew my mind. I do have to say personally, I wasn't really vibing on the editing. I really don't like song changes in the middle of a video part. That's just a personal thing for me. But the main thing that you guys watch edits for are the tricks, and the tricks were absolutely fucked. This was insanity in visual form. Seriously. I mean, the first three tricks, figure eight to bar spin, buttercup kick bry whip, bar bry kick bry whip. What are you doing? Stop. As always, the full video link will be down in the description and I have to chuck in some of my favorite clips right now. Big ups to you, Colby. You absolutely killed it. Please enjoy. While we're on the topic of Farzan, apparently some new signature decks are being revealed in the not so distant future. Both Vincent Kundrana and Tommy Dang posted mirror images on their Instagram accounts today saying, Sig decks coming soon, who? will be getting one. I have to say that I'm pretty sure, obviously, Tommy will get one. Vincent Kundrana will do a refresher on his. Brendan Smith, possibly at this point. It's interesting because Tommy posted this clip on his Instagram with the description reading, finally learnt five O's even on a 4.7. There's only 4.5s out in the Raven at this point. So does this mean that Tommy is now writing a prototype of the brand new Sig Dex? Who knows at this point, but it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next few weeks. We don't have to wait weeks for the Affinity V-Bars because they have officially dropped at the Vault Pro Scooters and they look absolutely bomb. 27 tall, 23 wide for the bigger riders, the new ball bar looking Affinity Bar, all they copied ball bars. Made in America has a thicker crossbar, is stronger, is better, is cheaper. If you want to learn a little bit more about these, Austin Spencer did a quick review run over on the Vault Pro Scooters YouTube channel, so make sure you follow him on Instagram. Plug. He is always posting up scootering content. He works at the Vol. He's a great dude. Follow him up. He does really good reviews and I enjoy his stuff a lot. Do make sure that if you pick up a pair of these bars, I'll quickly remind you again, code B-O-O-T-E-R at the Vol Pro Scooters. 10% off. You get your bars cheaper. Like, what's, what do you got to lose? Less money, apparently. And now, we're going to be talking about why my Instagram account got deleted. Some people, very few, but some people seem to think that I faked deleting my Instagram account. What? Guys, I don't do fake shit for views, okay? Please believe me when I tell you that this is not fake. I don't even know why I feel the need to explain myself to everybody, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So as a quick summary, last Saturday, my Instagram completely disappeared. I couldn't log in. I was told a message every time I tried to log in saying, we have banned your account for violating our terms of service. This happened to multiple other people, not just YouTubers, not just Instagrammers, but ordinary everyday people had their Instagram accounts banned even when they didn't post content. Terry Price had Yola Warrior taken down. Bart Escroba lost his Instagram. Angus Hughes lost his Instagram. This isn't fake. <laughs> it's not fake, guys. I showed you guys me trying to log into my account and it giving me that message. That was my correct password, my correct username. I couldn't log into my account, people. If I could have, it would have worked. I have no idea how to like hack apps or make my own apps. There's no way I could have done that. There's no way this is fake, okay? Just please believe me, all right? I was really upset that I'd even lost my Instagram account in the first place. And people trying to pin me for the fact that I 
faked deleting my Instagram account is just absolutely rubbish. That's not what happened. So deal with it. But now we're going to be talking about the biggest highlight of the day. Rocco Piazza dropped a fucking diss track. I just, I, can we stop this, please? This diss track thing getting really lame. Okay. I'm super over it. Anyways, Rocco dropped a diss track that was probably written and produced by somebody who his mother had paid. You're like, yo, can you make my son a diss track? Can you get him some clout back? Cause we're super irrelevant since we fired our nanny, our editor, and pretty much like the basis of our channel is fucked. More on that in a video very soon. So instead of making you sit through and suffer the entire diss track alone, we're gonna watch it together right now. What's up, rock stars? It's Rocco here. This is my first song. It's gonna be fire and lit. It's flit. Do I have to watch this? I mean, you kind of do. It's it's topical, you know. Really? This is like one of the biggest stories today. But can we can we find something else? This, this is not terrible. really man i i, I don't want to watch this look dude this is what we pay you for read the just do the story okay fine never call me bro like shut up. please do shut up before this gets any worse every day bro i get a youtube to see how you dissing everything you got on me is a who we kidding i like the beat i hate my scooter and yeezys i'm make it tricky i mean i'll give him a little bit of credit at least he's promoting scootering in this music video, that's kind of good, I guess. That lyric was trash, though. I make it tricky. All the scum on the bottom of my shoes, they could get sticky. Whoa, was that a rice scum diss? Boy, you better be careful who you messing with because rice will end you. I mean, you're already like super irrelevant in comparison to six months ago, but rice will whoop your ass. Marsh like a bio, get that dirt off my shoulder. A list of violet will be when I follow your shoulder. Probably not. You got kicked off for Disney. Man, your mom should diss on you. All right, now he's dissing Jake Paul. I see what's happening here. This kid's trying to gain relevancy from just dissing everybody. In 10, I know we had fun on her boards. But I'm still trying to find out how my force is deeper than yours. And now he's dissing T Fox. Like, what are you doing? Tana Fox literally made you famous, bro. Boy, you better stop stepping on the toes of the people that own you. It's like you never call me, bro. It's like you ain't never call me, bro. It's like. Shut up. I could have bought a bend. Hate is and dabbing them. I can acknowledge them. I mean, you just did though. I make a million a summer. Tougher and tougher. My fam is loyal. Rock a piazza. Subscribe and follow. I'm honestly not even going to watch any more of that because I don't want to. I don't want you guys to suffer. It's a terrible music video. Don't go and watch it. But the bottom line is, is that Rocco is being kind of ployed into trying to gain some relevancy again by just dissing everybody and anybody that he possibly can, which is very uncool. I suspect that his snake mother, Holly Piazza, is behind this entire ploy. Would not surprise me. She's done some terrible shit for views in the past, and I will be talking about that in a video very soon. So if you want to see a video on Holly Piazza, hit me up in the comment section below because I got, ooh, I got shots to fire. So watch yourself, you horny bitch. I've got one more quick story just to add here. Badgerclit had a very good friend, unfortunately pass away in a motorcycle accident this week. They are currently hosting a GoFundMe to raise money for the family that was affected by this. So if you're not donating to Hurricane Harvey or some other good cause, perhaps chuck a dollar or two in this donation fund to make this family's life just a little bit better over the next couple of months while they grieve for their lost son. But that is pretty much it for the news today, guys. So do not forget to follow me on the Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram at ScooterBrad and at Scoot Review. If you have any content to share, make sure you tag us with the hashtag Crew for a feature on the show, potentially, potentially. You can subscribe to the channel that you're watching right now. Come back for a brand new video every single day. And uh, also join the Facebook group, Scoot Review. Every post has to be approved by the admin, which is me. Only the best scooter and content gets posted on the page. That is it for today's Scoot Review. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, Scooter Brad, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Bye. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. You guys thought that I'd forgotten about the giveaway. Well, I mean, I did. Up until I just finished editing this video, I'd completely forgotten about announcing my giveaway. So what I have done is I'm rewarding people that have stayed till the very end of the video. So if you are one of those people, you're amazing. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. Now, you will have a significantly higher chance of winning this giveaway if you made it to the end. I'm gonna be messaging 10 people that I have followed on Instagram 
and you must reply with this statement. I don't have a statement yet. I haven't actually thought of a statement yet. Hang on. Okay, so I've followed 10 of you on Instagram. I'm going to send you a DM. It's going to be a random question, and I want you to respond with finna finna chicken dinner. That way I will know exactly that you have watched this video till the very end and you will be winning a prize from the giveaway. So I thought that was an interesting way to do it. I thought that would be cool because I want to reward my loyal fans that watch my videos till the very end. So if you're one of those people and I followed you on Instagram and you've sent me that message back, that's awesome. And yeah, well, you, you won. And I'm sure that we'll be in contact in the DMs anyway. So. Thank you so much for watching. Again, it's been your boy SV, and uh, congratulations to everybody that win, won the giveaway. If you see this and other people haven't, spread the word, put this on your story, on your Instagram story, on your Snapchat story, retweet it, share it on Facebook, whatever you guys want to do, so that people can know that this is how you win the giveaway. This is the specific details on how to win it, and yeah, that's, that's it. So thanks for watching. It's been your boy SV. Congratulations again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Dab. On the haters, bye. Hey, saying you want my name, got no soul.